Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Envoy Extreme here. Here we're looking at all the new mods that has dropped today on the 16th of August 2024. And really it's just one bunch of mods it is. It's mods by Kerakiz and Modding and Ashokan Agricultural Machinery. So Ashokan Agricultural Machinery, I think it's a Turkish brand company, I think it is, where they make so much equipment than that. So yeah, it's a bit of a little collaboration with KRK is a mod in that. So, first of all, we're going to be looking at the technically is an update, but it's new, cons new to console, and that is the Ostrokan Bolton Pack. And then, yeah, we'll look at the RC950, the Evo Disc T450, and then lastly, the roller for the Evo Disc TK600. Or, sorry, the roller is the RC950, but yeah, they'll be in order in that. But without further ado, Let's start with the update, technically, or new to console, it's the old Ostrokan Bolton Pack. And this is 24.23 megabits download. And yeah, Changelog 1.0.1 is as following. Now available on consoles, the Bolton 545 has been added to the package, 3D models have been remade, hoses have been remade, design and extension configurations have been added, the traction bug on the on the work has been fixed, stickers be rearranged, dirt and wear has been rearranged, and along with some minor bug fixes. So, essentially, what this is, it's a pack of on the 545 that is 5 slots, then you got the 745 that is 6 slots, and then the 945 which is 7 slots. So, first of all, you'll find these under tools, and as I mentioned, these are sub -solider. So. Start from left to right, you've got the 545, 7 half grand, 103 horsepower, 2.3 meters working width, 7 miles an hour of top speed, working speed. And yeah, turn for the colors and that, so you've got standard and black, so that is the extension arm in that. And design color is just going to be metal percent S or standard, so that's going to be the actual uh, cultivating roller and that on the back and that. Moving across to 745. So gone up from 130 to now recording 160 horsepower, 3.2 meters, still the same working speed. And yeah, configuration is exactly the same. And then lastly for the Bolton 945, you're now up to a 190 horsepower, 4.1 meter working width, and also 7 miles an hour. As I mentioned, 5, 6, and 7 slots on console goes down to 1. So yeah, first of all, actually, before we go have a little look. Overall, not too badly detailed now. Like again, like some of the mods we've been seeing lately, and that has been absolute detailed in that. And that just shows uh, how FS22 has come a long way in that. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the a uh, bigger one here, but all of them work the same in that. So we we'll open our help menu in that. So attach. So yeah, you got some controls in that. So if you press L1, right stick up and down, adjust the angle of the roller net so we'll have the right stick up and down raises and there was that rear roller net and besides from that there is nothing else to do see so yeah let's go to our cornfield over here there are said implements and yep yeah, we are subsoiling but again like in terms of a in a way of like how we work in real life you can't adjust how deep your machine goes into the field and that so or just how deep everything goes so if you just want like, a light tick on service then crack on and then yeah that does leave a difference so if we do that again raise it up so yeah now it's basically we're just plowing but if you want that sort of like, cultivated like state in that so yeah, just there that. And if we go into our menu here and that, so if we go across, because yeah, I want to look at the ground type. So yeah, now should tell us it's a mixture of plowed and cultivated. And yeah, does the rolling bit come up? No, it doesn't know. But yeah, so you can have this way if you just want that plowing way, like a plowing look to it, then crack on but also you've got the cultivator roller on the back and it's exactly the same for all three or all, all the other two in that so actually it's a nice little bit kit in that do like to love details gone into it 
So yeah, that is the Ostroken Bolton Pack by Kierkeza Modded and Ostroken Agriculture Machinery. Technically, it was an update, but as I mentioned, new to console, so I'll treat it as a brand new mod. But without further ado, let's look at the rest of these mods. Now for the Ostroken Evo Disc T450, also by Kierkeza Modding and with a collaboration with Ostroken Agriculture Machinery. It's going to be the same for all f all mods and that, so I'm going to go over the name of the all for that. But without further ado, yeah, the Evo Disc T450 is 23.79 megabytes to download. It is a disc arrow, and yet yeah, slot count is 12 slots, goes down to 1 on console. And as I mentioned, disc arrows and that, so tools and disc arrows. Got the T450 in that, so that is 4.5 meters at 12 miles an hour. 165 horsepower requirements, so not too bad. And yeah, 12 miles an hour, technically it's better than some of the ones you see. And yeah, so look at that, round 25 to 35 grand base game wise, so 13.5 grand for 4.5 meter. Yeah, I'll say that's reasonably priced in that. In terms of configurations and that, not too much. So you've got Trailborg, Standard and Whites. And you've got BKT, Standard and Whites. Mitre, Standard and then back to Trailborg. And yeah, Design, got Traffic Kit or none. So basically it's just reflective triangles and that. So if you're on the road and that, you'll need something like this in real life. Now again, it depends on what area you're in that. Like these may be slightly different in your region in the world and that. Yeah, but typically in the EU, and especially here in the UK, so I feel like that is very common to see, so... Get the thing hooked up. In terms of controls and that, it's just rays and their disc arrow. Nothing else to see. So yeah, compared to the Colty Plow we just looked at just now, this does perform slightly differently, so... As you see, we are just cultivating. So yeah, if you want like a small, fast cultivator, this would be the mod for you now. I like how it's got the transport wheel, so when you lower that, yeah, once you that's lower, that will raise the actual main cultivator or discard bits. But yeah, a cracking bit of kit here, that. And yeah, unfortunately, there's no folding animations or anything like that, so what you see is what you get. Yeah, so storage wise. Yeah, you could need something a bit wider now, but it doesn't take up that much space when it comes to vertical height, so clear sheds is going to be down to the liability of the tractor and that. But then again, if you're on a small farm and that, and you've got large tractors and that, just get a small yard tractor and that, you know, pull your equipment out, and then hook it up to your machinery and that. But anyways, that is the Ultra Stalker Evo, Evo Disc T450. Now we'll go on to the bigger version. Now for the Ostroken Evo Disc TK600 by KRKZ Modding and Ostroken Agriculture Machinery. It is 29.56 megabytes to download. Terms with slot count, I forgot to write down in my notes, so we'll have a look here. 16 slots goes down to 1. And yeah, this is a 6 meter working width at 12 miles an hour, similar to the one we just looked at just now. 220 horsepower is required. And you'll find this under tools and disc arrows. In terms of configurations, the exact same we looked at just now, so trade pork, standard and white. Verstein, Smiter, BKT, that's going to be standard and white, yep. I do like the look of that, like the white ones, you know, the chunkier rims and chunkier rims, not tyres. Best of both worlds. Also, do you have configurations for the back support and that, so for the framing that, for the transport wheels and that could be black or red, down to you how you like it in that. But yeah, 220 horsepower is required. So yeah, let's go and get you hooked up. So yeah, similar to the four and a half meter one we just looked at, but in case you skipped it to this part, then you what, I don't mind in that. So once again, well, you can technically lower your implement. Like, sir, you think you'll be able to get cold veins sick like that? No, you cannot. Fortunately, it's got to be unfolded and there were flats happen. So, yeah, let's go and raise it. Then we can unfold it. 
Oh yeah, also we've just got to greet the man at the farm shop. Nah, not going to sell you thing. And then yeah, it's just a case of there was said disc that. And off you go to the races, no other configurations or controls on that to note. But yeah, a 6 meter cultivator at 12 miles an hour. And I can't remember if I went over the prices again, so I'll go over them now. 35 grand. That is way better than what you could get in base game, that. The 4.5 meter one is a bit on the fine line margins, but for something like this, 6 meters. When you look at base game disc covers now, when you get 6 meters, you're looking at 45 grand plus. Even cheaper than the 5 meter one, Agrimas one, and that. Oops. Gone into the hills over there. But yeah, overall, cracking bit of kit. So I think I would recommend it out. Something I, I may use at some point that. Because I've got some plans for some videos and that in terms of future less plays and that. So I'm gonna put the ten thousand or ten million pounds debt and that on holding that because yeah, it's just not performing well it ain't so and in my time off I've had plans of doing a bit of like a rags to riches kind of way. Like it's a full challenge but without the limitations of anything like vintage and that, so that's going to be interesting to see. But anyways, that it was the old Shulk and Eurodisc TK600 by Oshulk. Next, for our final mod of the day, we've got the Oshulk RC950. This is a 9.5 meter roller and that. This is by Kierke's and Modern and Oshulk Agricultural Machinery. 12.18 megabytes of download. And in terms with slot counts and that, it is... Stem slots on console goes down to one. And yeah, you can find this under tools, under rollers. Go towards the end. So yeah, we're looking at that. 20 grand for a half meter. Yeah, nothing on the market for that. So yeah, a cheap roller net. Nine miles an hour. That ain't too bad. It's better than seven for most of these. Yeah, not maybe not be a 15 miles an hour one. But it's better than the base game ones, to say the least. So and just 100 horsepower required. That requires 160, so yep. That is a banging deal now, especially 20 grand and that weighs, yeah, five tons now, that is nothing. In terms of configurations and that, you can have fenders, yes and no. And if you have fenders, you've got the option for a traffic kit, no or yes. So that'd be a no for me. Will brands and that, starting off with Mitre's got standard, wide, spat standard. Treadborg is automatically white, so long BKDs, as it always is. And then, yeah, back to Mitres and all that. So, yeah, overall, cracking bit of kit in that, it seems. But let's see how it performs in the field, because, yeah, when this comes out, I will have up the Hoodoo mod review from yesterday, or Thursday, by the time this comes out, so it's going to be like, just going past midnight, because, yeah, I had so many intentions of getting yesterday mod review out on that, but. I was getting to the path one in the morning, had to do the thumbnail on the video yet, and that takes, depends on how long it takes, could be five minutes, could be half an hour I spend on the thumbnail on that. Really depends on what the thumbnail is and that, and just like details and that, like planning bits and that. Had a couple of pre-made screenshots already in that. And yeah, it makes life so much easier to do thumbnails that way compared to my new Let's Play on F1 Manager 2024, if you're case you're interested in that. But yeah, as we're just waffling on, seeing the roller in action, not too bad, not too shabby indeed. At the end of the day, it does the job. <coughs> Cheaper than any we've got in the base game at the moment, so if it was just a simple roller net, 9 miles an hour, well in control net, and just require 100 horsepower, that gives you so many options in terms of where like, machines this can use nets. But yeah, so it's a very short and quickish. Mod for you. I say quick ish, but me, I tend to waffle one and I go to detail on every mod in that. But yeah, as I was saying about yesterday, mod review and that, there was one section that I missed completely. Now, I not missed it, it just didn't save the video clip and that, or got corrupted with the RAM pick pack of beers and that. Because yeah, for that mod there by Spider Modding, that is a good mod. Now, it does need an update to the Viking Converted Fast Build one. But yeah, all the other ones were absolute banger, so what I'm going to do is get this edited, upload, get the thumbnail in a minute and that's perhaps somewhere over there or in the trees. 
Why in the heck did I make do something in the fields and that? You know? But anyways, as always, if you found this mod review helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, if so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider. But for just to do, hope you're nice to see. But for now, to be far more Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.